Get out, family. Woo! Look at this. Look what we got today. Yeah. What a great day. Yeah. What a great day. You are watching JU Nation Fishing. Oh my goodness. What's happening family and friends? This is JU. Today, once again guys, I'm with that man right there, Warren Fredrickson. Yes guys, all right. We're gonna be fishing for coconut salmon here at Bullard's Bar. The last time we were here, we got chased out because it's over 100 degrees, but today, cold but very beautiful follow along with us and we'll let you know what we're using and hopefully I'm gonna be able to catch some coconut salmon with some rigs I tied up last night Fish on. Alrighty, we got one family. First pass, the deadly fish on call. He's gonna try to get it by himself while I videotape him here. Knew it wasn't gonna be long, there he is, yeah. guys. That's where we caught our first fish together, too. Just yeah. Boy, he's fighting good. Ooh, it's a good fighter, guy, yeah. good fighter. It's an Ollie Crappie rod. Yeah, and you might want to turn your boat a little bit there. <laughs> Where's it? Control. <laughs> there he is, it's coming up. Ooh, it's a feisty little fighter, man. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, first fish of the day, first pass. Woo! Hammer, bam, bam, bam. Woo! Got it! Look at this, guys. And just a two ounce, that's it. No, no doubt that we can eat it. A few moments later. Oh, man, I got hit. Even close to this one, man. Oh, 
Oh shoot, oh. <laughs> Before I even put this one out. Oh man. <laughs> what a bottle to have here, guys. I didn't even put this one out yet. Can't speed it up, man. I got one. You got this one too, one? Oh man. <laughs> What a great problem to have, guys. You can't even, uh, you're gonna bring him in with a net or no? You got it. <laughs> what a great problem to have today, family. We can't even film them because they're all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> great problem to have. And I think I got a fish on too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo! There's my brother Mark Har, the professional coconut fisherman. <laughs> He's out fishing us today. <laughs> so two hours, limit of fish, lost as many. Not a bad day. No. Here with Max Lohr. Um, how are you guys doing? We're doing great. Uh, okay. We got. I was gonna say the other side, those points uh, in about 90 feet of water, yeah. down about 30 to 40 feet. Okay. Big school for them over there. Yeah. We've been Every time I went through, I got. Yeah. Hey family, what I've been giving them is really shallow, maybe 20 feet down, and the other one is 5 feet up from that, so roughly 20 and 15. I got both my splitting go out there right now, and for some reason we can't keep them on the hook. <laughs> <laughs> they keep on popping off. I try to be patient and try to land them without using the net. So we lose a lot of them that way too. But they seem to be really on top right now. It is what it is. He didn't. He still, he still wanted my corn. This works. On there still. He's up. I got one of my two ounces. As we thought, we should check it. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Oh, he came off. Came off, brother. Oh, yeah! Woo! That's right. See, that's what we're talking about right there. This is what we should check it. I need to put them deeper, okay? Because then I got them at 20 and 15. Ooh, there you go. I don't need to be that deep. Ha <laughs> ha! Right on top. This, was that, uh, this is that two ounce, right?
family and friends. Check it out. All right. I got them on my little rig that I set up. It looks pretty. And it works, family. Check it out. Oh, it glows in the dark. I didn't even know that. Glows in the dark. And tornado flasher. Thank you, DK. You're the bomb, brother. Crazy day, family. Here it is. Another Cheyus invention. Experimental thing. I got him on this pink hoochie this time with this tornado flasher right here. Go visit tornadoflasher.com if you want one of these flashers like this. Man, what a great day so far. Thanks to my brother Warren. Okay. Okay, you just got one here, 30 feet deep. Um, got it on a spin clown spinning glow. <laughs> Tornado flasher, uh, flasher, I guess. Yeah, tornado flasher. Yeah. Dang. Boy, nice little guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of still going crazy. I think we got one on the other side. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, he was had both thick, but at the same time. Yeah. I know the corn is going on that one, for sure. Wow, family, here you go. Another one of my experiment and rig works. So I think I only got one more to go, that big old spinner, and I've got the coconut hidden every single rig I made today. And this time it's on that tomato flasher right there. And that right there, spinning glow. Green this time. Okay, here's the tackle we were using today. Um, we got the gyro lures. These are the mule kicker flashers. And then we were using these little uh, shrimp things. These seem to work really good. We put a, a number two uh, Colorado blade on them. And then on this one, I tied up with just a couple of tentacles off a of hoochie and uh, two beads and a purple um, smile blade. And then on this one, another mule kicker, but I just put some tape on it. And uh, we have this little micro hoochie with a smile blade on it. And uh, I think we had one bite on it today, didn't we? And then, uh, I this, think everything you put out today got hit on uh, it. <laughs> yeah. And then um, this is the other one we were using today, but I never, I don't think we got a bite on this one. No. Uh -uh. Uh, but this is a Brad's Kokanee Cut Plug. And uh, this is a gyro flasher. Uh, I don't remember what we named that one yet. It's working pretty good. Uh, this flasher works really good. The kokanee cut plug, eh, we weren't too impressed with it today. So, why don't you tell them what you're using, Jay? Well, uh, let's, well, let's talk about Mark. So Mark Hall was fishing side by side, by side with us and he limited out pretty quick. And he was using this Max Lure right here. And he was trolling about um, same speed as us, maybe 1.5, 1.7, but he was down at 30, 30 feet deep. Whereas we're really, really high up. We are uh, anywhere from 20 feet on up is what we catch him. And you know, I'm a brand new coconut fisherman. I learned my stuff from Warren and DK and uh, other people, Fat Dog. I, I just experimented. I started putting some of the spinners together and this one actually glowed in the dark and it got a hit right off the bat. Uh, and then the spinning glow here was an amazing. Yeah, it worked really good. Yeah, it worked really well. Yeah. Uh, and I just paired them all up with my good friend DK's flasher called Tornado Flasher. Uh, there's another gold one. They all, it seemed like you didn't care what uh, what color of flasher I put on. I mean, it just it just hits every single thing. Um, and I all I did is I used just the corn uh, in tuna in oil. That's it. I left it overnight. And here's some other beautiful scent that um, one, you want to tell them about that? Yeah, that's the scent I was using. Just a couple drops on there. And then today I decided to use uh, everything you could buy from a store. I normally do my own corn like what JU had, but this is just uh, Potsky's Bait Company Fire Corn. And I was putting a couple of these uh, kind of white ones on and a couple of these pink ones on. And uh, oh, turn that around the right way. 
And then uh, we tried some gulp maggots. Um, I don't know that we had any bites on those either. I think we did. I think we had one bite. But the corn was definitely the thing. And then the Atlas Mike's uh, Lunker Trout scent was the, was the scent for today. Normally I like to use shrimp or krill, but they seem to like this today for some reason. And uh, that's pretty much what we were using. Um, we were fishing anywhere from right on top down to 30 feet. And it didn't seem to matter uh, too much where we were uh, where we were trolling. I think uh, most of the time from what Tim Trong was telling me, this is the old dam right here. And that's where we were fishing over the top of. That seemed to be where most of the fish were. Uh, we trolled by the log boom this morning with no bites. And uh, then we just moved up here and uh, started catching them. I bet we lost probably, what do you guess, uh, 50, 60? <laughs> Um, Too many to count for yeah. sure. We brought the I brought the wrong rods, and Ju forgot his rods, mm -hmm. so we had uh, just the big salmon rods from fishing in the river with us, and uh, they're a little stiff for these kokanee. Yeah, until uh, we figured out that we had to set the track, track loose, we were losing too many. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we were doing today. Nice day, real pleasant to be out. A um, little cool this morning, but uh, it was. Uh, Pretty nice here now about noon, so lake's flat calm. I think there was what four or five boats out here today that we seen. Early in the morning, that's yeah. about it. Yeah. And they took out pretty much early. Yeah. Then we got a whole lake to ourselves. Just you know, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. What's going on, family and friends? It's J.U. with Juan here today. Wow. Man, it is an amazing day today here in uh, Bullets Bar, catching coconut salmon. I think I limited it with him one time in the past, and then a few months ago, it was over 110 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it was a little warm to be fishing. Though. Yeah, but today, man, the weather turned out really, really good. Uh, we, we just killed them. We, I made a whole bunch of experimental reed. They all worked, uh, except for the last one, which I didn't try really that much but we, we caught yeah. too many fish to even try anything else <laughs> what a great problem to have right yep yeah uh there That's were funny. a couple of uh you know two or three takedown at the same time uh, just about anything we try worked and i i used specifically today a tornado flasher because you know i really love my brother dk for sending me all those tornado flasher so once again I, I support him and thank you so much if you are looking for tornado flasher go there and as well as of course chad lures which uh, Juan and I both support. Um, yeah. So there are a lot of local good fishing equipment makers out there, guys. Uh, please support your local fishing equipment maker. And uh, if you're like me, experiment. <laughs> have fun That's with it. it. That's <laughs> what I do, too. Yeah, yeah. you know, Juan and I, we have, a, we have a great time just making lure. I think this might work, you know. And we tried it, and, man, I was so very blessed today. I'm not a coconut fisherman, like I said. Uh, I learned it from Fat Dog. I learned it from Warren. I learned it from uh, DK, the little flasher. I learned it, you know, a whole bunch of different guys, and it's so much fun. I mean, it's a lot of fun, and they taste delicious, especially when you smoke them up. Yeah. As always, right. family and friends, I mean, there are a lot of good fishing video. I'm just so very, very flattered, and really uh, love you guys for coming and check out this channel. So until the next time, peace out. Fish on. Woo!